developing tonight two expressway shootings in less than six hours. As shootings on area expressways become more common, no stretch of road is more dangerous than I-57. Roseanne Teas is live along I-57 near Oak Forest with more on the latest victim and the frightening numbers. Roseanne. Erica, there have been more than 150 expressway shootings since 2016, but I-57 between the Dan Ryan and the Cicero exit, which is the closest to us, has seen the most. The latest victim described as a caring, loving mother, and tonight her family hopes somebody saw something and will come forward. It was just a normal Monday yesterday and now she's gone. Her mom, 55 year old Tamara Clayton Shelton, gone just like that, shot on I-57 around 10 p.m. Monday. Her route to work, one of Chicago's most dangerous roadways. I've always worried about her. Not because of collisions, but because of shootings. My mom avoided the Dan Ryan because of how crazy it was. But according to Illinois State Police, of 43 expressway shootings in 2018, 14 of them were on I-57, the most of any expressway. Since September alone, there were two people shot near Halstead Street, three injured near 147th, one shot at near 127th, and two men killed, and a third injured near 123rd. And just six hours before Clayton Shelton's killing and about six miles away in Calumet Park, three people were shot riding in this Hyundai Tucson, a man who was critically injured and two children aged 15 and 12. Shelton says it doesn't make any sense. The reason why I'm out here right now is so everybody sees a face to a name and to know that she was the most beautiful person I've ever met in my entire life. She also wants the person responsible caught. Help us grieve and close this out. So why are people firing guns here on I-57 so frequently? Is it road rage, rival gangs, or something else? We reached out to Illinois State Police, but they could not tell us why. We will keep pushing for answers. Live tonight, along I-57, Roseanne Teas, CBS 2 News.